What's up my friends? My name is Marissa and this is my divination channel. And my purpose is to help you guys step into and align more with your divine destiny and your highest timelines and those things, those aspects of self internally and externally that support your soul's blueprint and what is going to allow you to feel the most free in your expression and your incarnation in general. So this is just one of the many ways that I've been guided to do this throughout this incarnation. And I'm very happy to be supporting you guys throughout your journey in any way possible. So thank you so much for entrusting me with this type of intimate aspect and in dive into your life. Okay. So just so you guys know, these readings today are all about a new beginning that's on your horizon. And again, these are things like my intention and the content that I put out is all about supporting you guys in your highest timeline. Okay. So that's what this new beginning is going to um, be in regards to, or that's at least the intention that I set for this. Just like you guys know, your readers are along for the ride just as much as you guys are. Okay. So, uh, yeah, four piles to choose from today four different decks, I should say. And whenever you guys are ready, we're, we're going to hop right into these readings. Hey, group number one, if you guys chose this Modern Witch Tarot deck, this is your reading. I've already shuffled the Fool card back in here, and we're going to get into this real time together, okay? So I'm just going to set these over here for clarification, and we're going to get as much information and details as we can for that's relevant for you to know, at least at this point in time that you're drawn to this video, okay? So let's get into it. So what is this new beginning that is on, on your Horizon Pile 1? We have trader exchange energy to create abundance. Shaman, trust in higher forces. Stand your ground. And truth. Okay, so already I do feel like this has something to do with um, the spiritual fields. Um, and... At the very least, I feel like if it's not something that has to do with the spiritual fields, I feel like there's a big part of this new beginning that's on your horizon that is that you might question, like, should I invest in this? Like, you might question, is this for me or is this a direction I should explore? And I am seeing that you guys have extremely, um, you have extremely potent healing abilities, okay? And you guys might tend to question yourselves or that might be something like there's some degree of imposter syndrome that you might feel in regards to this new beginning on the horizon, okay? And I feel like it has to do with you exchanging truth, right? Exchanging your version of truth or the way that you're able to like interpret energy and interpret, you know, your own way of being a mystic or your own way. What is a mystic? Essentially, that's just someone that is able to dissect and to feel into the true nature of reality and what brings peace and prosperity and just a holistic sense of freedom and well-being to people's lives. And I feel like you'll be exchanging that for money, right? Or for uh, like you'll be able to support yourself or it'll be a new venture that will allow you to support yourself. Uh, eventually, you know, but it, it does entail some sort of journey. And if this is a journey that you guys feel that you're already on, I feel like there might be a new venture that you're taking or a new way of like putting yourself out there, putting your work out there. There just might be like your purpose remains the same, but it's just expanding. Okay. Whatever it is that you're currently doing and, and whatever truth and whatever way that you are expressing yourself at this time, it's just going to expand. Okay. Cause there's going to be people at all different levels of this. Right. And it really, requires you to trust in higher forces and to not question yourself, right? And that's, again, those doubts and insecurities are always going to be there on any worthwhile journey. However, um, it's not like we're not taking our cues from those things, okay? But it's like your direct access with this higher forces and this truth card, it's like your direct access to spirit is going to bring a lot of abundance, not only to your life, ooh, it's 11-11 right now, <laughs> not only to your life, but um, to those, the lives of those that you touch, okay? And the money and the support, you know, the financial support is just going to feel like a bonus because you're going to re be receiving so much fulfillment just from being in alignment with your higher calling, okay? And yeah, it's it just requires you, like, it's interesting because on one hand, it requires like the stand your ground, right? The seven of wands energy where you don't give up, you like stake your claim. But I feel like when you're really in alignment with something that you're here for, something greater than you, uh, you don't really need to convince yourself to do it. You'll always naturally continue to come back to it. Okay. 
And so maybe even for some of you guys, you might have like taken a pause on something or like given yourself a break from exploring a certain avenue or trying something new. And it's like, you're being drawn, you're being called back to it. And maybe even in a different way. Okay. Let's get deeper into this new horizon. Chaos and conflict. Peace. Yeah. So I feel like one, one of the gifts or one of the ways that you will be able to like feel that you're coming closer to this or like, don't be, don't be surprised when before this new horizon, you have kind of like this chaotic, um, energy, or it even feels like, you know, the dark, that's that saying it's always darkest before the dawn. Okay. So right before our next breakthrough, we sometimes go through these moments where we, kind of feel like we've hit a plateau and we feel bored and stagnant. And sometimes it's like really heavy and really dark. So I'm hearing that right before this, um, this new level of expansion, you might be like criticizing your work or like criticizing yourself and just like wondering, is it all worth it? Right. And then, um, you know, peace comes very shortly after. And I'm also hearing that one of the, the, this thing that you're doing, this new horizon, I feel like it's bringing peace to chaos and conflict. You're helping other people understand the true nature beneath these things that happen within our lives, right? You're helping people see their moments of chaos, their moments of conflict with a new lens of perception. Um, you guys are very in tune, okay? And I feel like you also help, you know, the shaman energy is all about helping restore people's soul to themselves. And one of the ways that we kind of like, in a less traumatic way, lose pieces of ourself or lose pieces of our soul. Or we start, we stop trusting in life as much as when we think that we're being rewarded or punished for something, you know? And oftentimes it's like, I feel like you, whatever it is you're doing, you're helping people realize that the, the beauty behind chaos and conflict and the catalytic nature of things that, you know, are heavy and hard. Like you're helping to restore people's trust and faith in the universe and seeing how it's only meant to build us to an even stronger version of ourselves, okay? Um, but yeah, I feel like you're just helping to bring peace to a lot of people, many people that are feel like suffering on this planet. And this could be like a venture that you're like, I'm even hearing something about nonprofits for some of you guys, or even like helping people that are less fortunate, like in physical, you know, in the physical realms, as well as the spiritual realms as well. So the different types of people that are drawn to this, you know, it's, it's very broad in terms of how this will look in, in each individual's life. But I feel like it's you being guided by values and morals that are you like that aren't given to us or aren't conditioned. These are something, this is something that is really born from your innermost springs. Okay. Your innermost understanding of why you're here. Um, yeah, this is very beautiful. Very beautiful energies. Next, we have fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposite extremes of life. So yeah, all of these cards kind of support each other. It's about like whatever it is that you're doing this new horizon. I feel like you are kind of sharing with the world and sharing with other people and helping people just feel more at ease and at peace and just like okay with um, the nature of reality and just like a human experience, you know, just having a human incarnation in general understanding that these things are part of life, right? Um, there is like a deep sense of serenity. You guys, some of you guys could even be, you know, exploring like what it means to be like a Reiki master. I'm hearing something about Reiki energy restoration in general, like um, quantum healing hypnosis technique, you know, all of these different uh, like tools that we have available to us, even like breath work for some of you guys. There's a lot here about restoring people and like kind of helping people move beyond this like, you know, it's that, that, that saying of you can't find a solution at the same level of the problem. So whatever it is you're doing, you're bringing people into a space of peace and so that they're naturally elevating themselves so they can see their situation and their life events from a different lens of perception that allows them to feel content with things and allows them to have a certain type of like resolution, um, even if it's just like energetic resolution around why certain things have happened in their life and just like yeah, I'm even hearing something about like working with kids that are, um, you know, programs for kids that are like high at risk, you know, that have like unstable family or like home environments or high risk for getting involved in like gangs or, you know, stuff like that. Um, so very active kind of like Aquarian humanitarian energy is, is really what I'm feeling from this pile. But ultimately it's like, you're really, I do feel a sense of being very engaged. You know, it's like, 
and a, and a necessity to kind of like take care of yourself, cleanse, cleansing your energy as well. Um, and this might even be something that you feel like you're gearing up towards or that you've been prepared for. Okay. Um, next we have messenger, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. It's like everything that we've been. Yeah. That's like everything. Um, I hardly see this card come up in reading. So you are, you know, the thing about messenger, this reminds me of like Hermes. Hermes was the God, uh, the messenger of the gods. And so this is kind of what I'm getting with this truth card and trust in higher forces as you are like a messenger of truth. You're a messenger of God. I feel like some people and the people that you'll be working with and just this, you know, this new energy you're in, in general, it's like, you are just like a walking, a walking beacon of hope, a walking beacon of light. Okay. And you're able to meet other people where they're at. Um, yeah, I'm getting a very like streamlined, you have a very streamlined ability in terms of like, I feel like, um, you're just able to meet people where, where they're at. You're very perceptive. You're very intuitive. Yeah. I want to get a little bit more details in terms of what we can expect from this, this new horizon. I feel like it's so beautiful too with this messenger card showing up right underneath the truth card because there is a lot here about being a messenger of truth, right? I know I said that in like 18 different ways just now, but I feel like the biggest thing here for you guys in this new, this, you know, this, a new beginning that's on your horizon is like, this might mean that, you know, some of you guys are already doing this. And so it just means that your audience is growing, that your impact is growing, Okay, that you've, you know, it, it's been paying off. Everything that you've been working towards has been paying off and you've just been kind of like balancing out your own karmic scales and preparing yourself even more to handle this level of responsibility in terms of the amount of lives that you're impacting. And for others of you, like what I just said will apply to you, but like much later because some of you guys haven't started yet and you've kind of, excuse me, been going back and forth, feeling like an internal kind of chaos and conflict um, about this. Yeah. This, I feel like there's a lot that's going to be changing. Okay. You'll be juggling a lot on the earth plane. Um, and you'll be able to keep up with it, right. With this two of pentacles, this just really talks about just like being like having a lot on your plate, but in a good way, it does. I don't feel like a sense of stress from this. It feels like a sense of like, you're excited to, for the responsibility that's coming in. You're excited for um, you're just excited. I, I feel to see things shift. So by the time that this comes into your, your reality, I feel like it might even require you to get, become more realistic of like, okay, what do I need to change in my current reality and how I navigate my life in order to make space to like make this thing that is a vision or, you know, to make it into a reality, or at least for those of you who are already on this path to like increase, right? Um, and to like be able to hold more space for more potent messages. Um, whether that means, you know, meditating more or like taking care of yourself more, clearing your mind more, you know, a lot of the people that are drawn to this, like you guys will probably, you know, social media is one of our main tools to help us, um, you know, with these types of businesses, you know, and these types of endeavors. And so along with that is a lot of like, you know, when videos go viral or, you know, just being tapped into that consciousness of social media. I've actually made a video about this on my main channel, like last year sometime, but there's a consciousness of social media. And so it's important to be taking the necessary steps in order to cleanse yourself so you can stay organic in your field. So you can stay uh, authentic within your own soul stream. And so you're not diluting your message. Okay. King of wands. Yeah. What else? We have the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Yeah, this is a journey, you guys. With this king, there's a sense of like, this is going to mature you, right? And again, so we don't always feel like from the, the moment that we set off on these journeys and even sometimes when we're like midway through, we can question like, do I, eat, do I really have what it takes? Yeah, do I really have what it takes? There's those doubts, there's those insecurities. Um, I feel like, you know, again, with that great power comes great responsibility. I feel like you guys will be getting a lot of attention, okay? And, and so there will be, it's like different levels, different devils is what I'm hearing. And so I feel like you guys are, this new horizon is like finally stepping beyond kind of this lack mentality and, and really feeling like you have more than enough. And so, you know, learning how to distribute that wealth energetically, that energetic wealth, and maybe even that tangible wealth, learning how to be better with finances, right? 
um, and what it means to be someone that you know so many people look up to you know having that amount of power that great degree of power you guys like I have seen it firsthand like I've seen it people's egos and arrogance just completely just like taint a really good thing right and so I feel like different levels different devils with the amount of power and prosperity and the amount of lives that you'll be impacting and uh, just how many people like respect you right and look up to you and again I'm not like putting any time frames on these things um, because it's going to be different for everyone but I feel like in terms of this new beginning like you're going to feel that you're locked into this timeline because you will start to get reflections and you will start to have people reaching out to you and you will start to really hear about the impact that you have and you'll be able to see real time like by you just sharing your most authentic truth with this throat chakra that's illuminated here and, and owning it and stepping into it how much you're deeply affecting the lives of other people and i feel like there might just might be some fear and some purges right that goes along with that and not and to not get in this mindset to just continue to be honest about where you're at and to not put yourself as this like superhuman type of figure because that's what what can tend to happen with people that are you know in this kind of like some people can get a hit off of like being being put on a pedestal by other people i don't think the people that are drawn to my channel in particular are those type of people but this is just what's coming through so i need to honor what the guides are saying okay but i feel like this new um beginning it really is marked by a, a state of inner prosperity and it's like you're not questioning yourself as much right? This new beginning, like locking into this timeline even more as you're trusting, you're standing firm in what's coming through from spirit. You can look up to other people or look into like, you know, have respect for other teachers and teachings, but it's what really marks that this, you're emerging with this new beginning is that you are above anything else, trusting your own experience. If someone else tells you something, a teacher, a master, but it does not align with your true, with your authentic experience, you have to trust your own experience, okay? And this is what you're being prepared for. It's that like third and fourth level of faith, confident faith and irreversible faith, where it's like, you know, you'd be willing to die for these principles. You'd be willing to die behind what you stand for, okay? And that's the level, that's what you're communicating. And that's why so much prosperity is being brought to you because this is like, you know, you're really aligning with um, the abundance of universal forces, right? The true nature of reality, which says, you know, when you're aligning with those things that bring you the most amount of prosperity on every level, spiritually, you know, mentally, emotionally, you're going to be provided the resources and the means to continue to expand doing that, right? Um, because ultimately, you know, this is a very benign universe. And I know on earth, it's very extreme with these extremes of life. It seems very extreme. Okay. But yeah, this is, um, this is very beautiful. There's a lot of good things in store, a lot of peace to come for yourself. And you're just a messenger of peace. You're a messenger of bliss. Um, and there are, might come a point to where, you know, you really know that this is becoming a thing when you're like, okay, how do I rearrange things so I can continue to do this? Right? How do, what do I need to restructure in my life so I can continue to do this, but still not overextending myself, right? Um, and yeah, there even might come to a point too, where you'll be overseeing other people and like ha inviting people to be part of your team, that kind of thing. So, um, this is all very beautiful. I feel like this new beginning is like, uh, it feels like I'm seeing the beginning of a, a very long journey. Okay. It feels like, um, it feels like more of an internal beginning that is just going to bring in more and more like smaller beginnings in terms of meeting new people, going on new adventures deepening into your trust of yourself, okay? And so it's just wherever you're already at, it's like taking it up a notch. Yeah, and I feel like it's a series of new beginnings too because as soon as you start to see yourself getting swept up in the chaos and the conflict and just, you know, the extremes of life, it's like coming back to your center, coming back to your peace, holding the opposites, surrendering, right? And that's how you continue to move forward and move towards this, um, you know, this never-ending a kind of expansion is what I'm seeing as you consistently like expand, expand a little bit more, expanding a little bit more and helping other people do the same. So this is very beautiful. Thank you so much for tuning in today and for being part of my channel and this community. Um, thank you for all that you're doing on the earth at this time. And yeah, if this video resonated, please give this video a thumbs up, comment any synchronicities down below. Um, yeah. And I do hope to see you on my channel again soon. Much love. Hey, pile number two, welcome to your reading for 
a new beginning that is on your horizon. So you chose the wild unknown tarot deck today and I'm just gonna leave this up here for clarification purposes as we go along, but we're gonna get into this real time together, okay? I haven't seen any of your cards yet. Well, let's get into it. So first you have moon, take note of intuitive messages. Okay, so this is something that you might be already intuiting or like having a lot of excitement around. You might be dreaming about this new beginning, okay? Um, you might have a feeling like when it comes up or when this new beginning happens, it's like one of those things where I feel like you guys already were anticipating it. You could already feel it entering your timeline energetically. Take charge with authority with Lord. Next, we have conflict and defeat. Wisdom. Not for you. Okay, yeah. So I already, I do feel like this is something that maybe you had already like explored something similar or this might be like a new beginning where like, <laughs> sorry, I'm saying like so much. This might be one of those things where you had done something similar or you had set off for something that kind of left you feeling conf like defeated and like you were like, you know, life was like, dangling something in front of your face that ended up not being for you okay and so i feel like this new beginning is something that you're intuiting um and you know whether we'll get more detail with the tarot but whether it like comes to you or whether it's something that you have to go after like either way there's a very active force behind this where there's an opportunity that presents itself to you or like the stars align and you're like okay it feels time to like start this thing or to say yes to this thing um, it's like you're going after it and you're not taking no for an answer, right? You're, um, yeah, and not letting past failures or past defeats like mean anything, you know, because it's only a failure if you decide to like never try again or to never get up again, you know, but there was something that had to do with this like false start that you had in the past that you were meant to learn things from. There was some wisdom that you were to gain from um, this experience the first time it came around or it might be coming back around in a different way um, or just like, you know, it's like our purpose can stay the same, but are the vehicle to deliver that purpose can change. And so sometimes if it changes a lot for you, or if it's just not worked out in the past for you, you know, sometimes we can get down on ourselves and wonder, okay, do I really just need to surrender to, you know, it's just like not surrender, but settle, you know, settle for something that actually is like a diluted version of what something else could be of like what, you know, it's just diluted in terms of the degree of prosperity, the degree of um, spiritual fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, okay? But I feel like it's something that you had explored before, started before um, that didn't work out or something similar in a similar way of here I am putting myself out there, trying something new and, you know, I'm left in the cold or I'm left feeling a little bit humbled, you know, my ego is a little bit humbled or whatever, right? And there was... Um, definitely was a teacher. It was meant to teach you something and to teach you something about yourself, maybe your resiliency, um, maybe just the ways that you, like just how you process things that don't work out. You know, there was something here that was meant to expand your perception, expand your level of awareness. And with the moon card too, it's like, you know, it's not always, it's not always meant to be fun. You know, it's not always meant to be easy. These new beginnings and these you know, I feel like when we get into the self-help world, we're just like promised so much and by like changing our mindset and like all this stuff and while that's great, it's like there's a lot of work and you really meet a big part of your shadow. The more that you claim the path of the light, don't be surprised when the more darkness is exposed. Okay. And so that can be very uncomfortable. And so there was a lot that I feel like you've learned in this pause period before it's like starting on something new higher power. Yeah. So there's definitely completion. You have two tens coming through. Um, so I feel like this new beginning is marked by a very difficult period of self doubt and maybe even questioning the universe and questioning, like if you can trust yourself and questioning, questioning, you know, just a lot of doubts and just feel again, feeling very defeated feeling like no matter what I do, it's not for me. It can happen for other people, but maybe not for me. 
Okay. And so this new beginning is, is being marked by like, it's going to feel like a breath of fresh air. And I feel like you're so done. It might even feel like you're so like, so tired of hearing this old narrative anyways, that you're like, all right, fuck it. I'm just gonna like, I have nothing else to lose, you know? And so there's a lot of tenacity and just like, yes, we're going to go for this with these Rams in the back. I just think of that like initiative, like Aries type of energy, that cardinal, you know, I'm going for this type of energy. Okay. So this new beginning, the void, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb. Yeah, I feel like you guys might be in the winter right now, the winter period right now. Okay, and it's just like trusting the void, trusting the pause. Um, I feel like there's a lot that can be reframed within pause period. So it's like when we start something, when we start, whether it be a relationship or a new business venture or uh, just a new direction in general, even a new job, it's like, there's so much that I tend to learn in this space. And it's like, I learn even more about myself and my relationship to the lover, the friend, um, the job, my career, whatever it is I'm doing in this space away from it. And so maybe you were like too engaged in something in the past. And so now a lot of the wisdom that you're gaining is about honoring the pause. Uh, maybe you do have a lot of that, like, all right, we're going to go for it. That initiatory, just like kind of bulldozing your way through things. And so Spirit might be helping, you know, who, there's a lot of layers to whatever lesson this was that you guys were to learn, okay? And a lot of things to extract from it, a lot of wisdom to be gained um, from something not working out in the past. Lastly, we have lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like that's very literally like you've done this before of like, this is the thing, like this new beginning is something that you're like, do I go back to it? Like, should I try this again? It wasn't for me in the past, but like, I feel like it's like, you've done this before. Like, you know, you've, um, this is the thing that you've done before. This new beginning is something you've done before is what I'm trying to get at. And it's like coming at it from a different angle. Um, God. Oh, I had to refrain from saying that's what she said, but it looks like I said it anyways. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, there, I feel like there was just a lot that you've learned and we're going to get a little bit deeper in the message with, um, the tarot. So what does this have to do with in particular? What else do we need to know about this new beginning for pile number two? Yeah, definitely. It has, has to do with your, um, intuition, right. And your gifts. So I feel like this is a, a road that's less traveled, your road that's less, less traveled. So I feel like this is something that, um, is not like maybe particularly normal, um, or something that like many people might not understand why you are going back to it or the person or the job or whatever it is, um, you know, the field, the career, but it's because there's something here. You, there's something that's like unfinished business here is kind of what I'm getting from this reading. Um, there's unfinished business and there's more that your soul wants to extract from this. Yeah. Seven of pentacles. So it's like something that you've built up to a certain point in time, but there's a new, there's a fresh lens of perception you have around this thing. And again, it's like the new beginning, the page of pentacles feels like the ultimate new beginning in terms of that, like career, you know, um, a creative pursuit, uh, like a uh, career endeavor. This could also just have to do with like finances or just like your external environment in general. Okay. What else does it have to do with this new beginning? Mother of Swords. Yeah, so you were gaining, you expanded your perception. Knight of Wands as well. All right, give me a second to tune in. I feel like this is a combination of, um, it might feel like this new endeavor, one of the reasons why you were judging it as being unsuccessful or something is because the finances, like it might be a slow and steady build financially. Okay. This new beginning, but I feel like there's a lot here about wisdom. There's a lot here about communication, speaking, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, you're seat seated in a place of internal power authority. Okay. Um, you're like a voice box of the divine. Um, another way of saying that is you're allowing your most authentic soul stream to come through. You're not like putting on a show. You're being honest about all aspects of yourself. That's going to help you be more successful within this, this time around. Again, it's like maybe the first time, um, you came at this, you came at it with like, you know, it's just like purifying. 
it's just like some purification needed to happen for whatever reason. That's not to say that it's bad. Like, you know, we all go through it. We're on this planet. We're all going to go through cycles of purification. And so there was just some of that. Another way of saying that is like, what was like maybe more of your limited lens of perception was kind of blocking a more like authentic soul stream to come through. So that's also going to kind of like clench the flow of your finances or, you know, clench the flow of just feeling like you're moving in a solid direction. Okay. But I feel like, This was meant to give you space to reflect, okay, reflecting on the conflict and the defeat and to see it from a different perspective. And so ultimately, like that's what makes us able to stay strong on this type of path. What gives us the tenacity is when we don't take little moments of defeat as meaning anything. You know, it's just so interesting that as a species, we have decided to attach these very (laughs) non-serving, like, narratives onto things that really don't mean anything it's like it's just happening and our narrative either makes or breaks us you know our narrative will either give us the permission slip to continue on or give us the permission slip to throw in the towel okay so maybe in the past you might have thrown in the towel or maybe you're just like i'm just gonna like take a break from this so i don't like suffocate myself or so like you know it's just lost its joy i think you lost your joy and your juice Um, But now like taking space has allowed you to reconnect to your authentic self more, your authentic soul stream. And so now it's about like, again, okay, here we are. Seven is all about like, um, seven is the card of, gosh, what are the seven cards again? Yeah. So seven are the cards of contemplation. Okay. And so realistically, like contemplating the direction, I feel like you've had a lot of time to contemplate and to just like extract the juice from what this was to teach you and so now it's like again this fire is going to be re-sparked in you re-sparked for this thing that you've done before that you've done in the past you this also like this thing i feel like has a lot to do with the wisdom you've gained throughout other lifetimes throughout other incarnations if that's something that you believe in but that could just be in this lifetime in general okay i'm not really sure what it is and i feel like one of the reasons is because those beings that are drawn to this it's going to be different for some people it's going to be a person a job a career um, you know, some like a desire to move somewhere. Okay. And so this is like re-sparking. There's a sense of like rekindling a lost flame, re- rekindling this old flame. And again, having that kind of, you know, the night, the night cards are cards that have a lot of that, like, you know, pages are kind of that like innocent, like naive kind of feeling. Knights are like, have so much, I'm thinking of like that testosterone kind of energy, you know, where it's like, there's just so much energy and um, there's like, it it does remind me of this as well. There's so much energy and there's so much almost like blind faith. That might be like a negative connotation, but there's like so much of this energy of like, nothing is going to stop me. Okay. Nothing is going to get in my way this time. Um, And I feel like it, there is a beautiful balance that you are coming in with um, this time around with whatever with whatever this is, whatever you're re- returning to. Okay, it's interesting that we even have like the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, so yeah, I do feel like this is something that you've definitely coming in from the past or that you've dabbled in before that maybe you even like wanted to start before you dabbled in a little bit and then just like kind of gave up. And so now it's like we're returning to this because there's something else here to learn. There's unfinished business here. Okay. So I'm going to leave this reading here for now. This brought clarity, confirmation, and peace to your heart today. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave any comments in the comment section, please. It really does help more people um, be drawn to these videos and you know the messages that they need when they need them. And yeah, I do hope to hear from you guys again soon on my channel. Much love. What's up, group number three? Welcome to your reading. You guys chose the relative tarot deck today. And I'm just going to use this to get more details later in the reading. But we're going to go through these cards together real time, okay? So what is this new beginning that is on your horizon? We have She-Wolf, Unleash the wild within this is one of my favorite cards in this whole deck okay this is already off to a good start be graceful in movement and action wow these are so pretty so it's like such pretty like cards but all like also such beautiful energy a lot here about embracing the shadow embracing all aspects of yourself okay with this new beginning um it's really inviting you to come into a place of like giving like having no fucks okay or at least releasing a lot of them back to the wild back from where they came from okay 
but I feel like this new beginning, yeah, you're feeling very much so in your power. I feel like a big part of this new beginning also is coming in to your field because you are giving yourself more and more permission to like stand out and to be different and to own your uniqueness, your unique qualities, but you're doing so in a way that is like, I feel like it's coming from a good place, right? Uh, you're not doing so to put on a show. You're not doing so to like prove something to other people, but you're doing it because it's really an authentic expression of yourself. Um, and you're, you're making those decisions that support your fullness. You're saying those things, you're carrying yourself in those ways. You're giving yourself permission to say no more. So this is really, um, uh, a, a timeline kind of thing where this new beginning comes into your field because you're doing this more okay and you're having less shame while you're doing it oh my gosh <laughs> so beautiful so yeah i feel like you're putting to bed this old way of doing things or this old way of showing up this old an older version of yourself that kind of maybe was a bit more self-sacrificial and maybe more people pleasing and did things to like fit in with a pack and you know this new beginning, I feel like you care, like it's more of an internal thing. Um, I won't be surprised if we do see that it has external ramifications because it's only a matter of time. Like I just made, you know, I have a couple of videos um, on my main YouTube channel that will be going live. One of them already did and then I have another one going live uh, a couple days after this one, uh, This these tarot readings. But it's all about the more you you become, the more that like your life just gets so fucking epic and what's so cool about it is like, it is so epic, not because it looks a certain way, you know, and it doesn't look a way that you can't like look at a bunch of people. You can put everyone like in a row and be like, look at their external life and say who is living a most epic life, right? Not that we're here to compare, but just take this for the sake of the analogy, because someone that has all the things that, you know, certain law of attraction communities would say that is like, this is you living a good life or whatever. Someone could have all of that, but still be lacking like that internal fulfillment, that internal juice. Right. And so someone that maybe looks like they're not living that, you know, maybe they like to shop at Goodwill or they wear like, you know, I don't know, you know, things that our society has kind of mislabeled and just been, you know, superficially inept at uh, like understanding what true fulfillment is. Right. I feel like, um, that's kind of the degree, the level that you guys are living at is it doesn't really matter what it looks externally, but the external is gonna come with that. But I feel like this new beginning is marked by you feeling very empowered to show up as you are, okay? And completing a lot, like I'm getting the sense of like many of your karmic scales and karmic propensities, like insecurities and stuff, um, are finally feel like you have stepped beyond them not f ever fully completely, especially not on this plane of existence. That's not necessarily how karma works on this planet, but to the point to where your strength outweighs those insecurities now and uh, they don't get in the way. They might still be there, but you just like really, your view of them has changed and, and you've embraced them more. And because of that, you exude this like true level of confidence, which, which isn't, I'm confident because I'm flawless, but or like despite my flaws, you know, but it's like because of them, because I, you understand, you have this universal perspective of understanding the way that things are and of like, okay, you know, I have these things, I have these ways of being, I have these flaws, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be, <laughs> you know, not getting so much in your mind. You know, there's like a Zen kind of energy that's coming through here, not getting so much in your mind about how things should be, but just being at peace with like how they are because you really have this deep sense of trust in the universal forces and it comes to trusting you know the more that you trust the universal forces the more you trust yourself and vice versa it's the same right it's one and the same um so yeah i feel like this new beginning is coming in be you'll you'll know it's it's near when this really feels you're really locked into this and even if you're already if you feel like you're already locked into this then let's get deeper about what this new beginning is community okay like attracts like, you're attracting more people. You might be building community, right? You might be a leader of the pack, okay? You might be someone that speaks for like the voice box of the community, of these upgrades, of what it means to be a truly empowered individual. Um, but I feel like this is something that like you feel like 
this new beginning has to do with finding your people, finding soul family, finding people that understand you, that get you, that you can be your full, um, most unapologetic, you can be your most full and unapologetic self around. Uh, I hope the audio was okay because I just realized I wasn't, so I have to do my audio a little bit differently now, um, now that, yeah, the audio is a little bit different, so you might have noticed a change in the pitch or something just now because I didn't have my audio recording, okay? So, um, yeah, I feel like you're attracting more people that get you and that more people to celebrate with and that accept your fullness and you accept their fullness and it's empowered people. It's not petty people. It's not like petty bullshit. Like it'll start as a trickle and then it'll it'll turn more into a stream and then it's like the floodgates are open, okay? And people really want to hear what you have to share. People really want to learn what it is that you've learned to become to this place of self-mastery and to come to this place of such deep self-acceptance because that really is the game changer that really is the gateway into a life of our dreams is, uh, is accepting yourself and accepting where you're at. Right. Next we have unfinished symphony breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will micromanaging the universe. So you have the universe, the actual word universe coming up twice in this. So there is a sense of surrender here. Um, there is a sense too, that this is something that you have been preparing for in other lifetimes. Uh, that's carrying over to this lifetime. And so I feel like once that, you know, whatever karma you came here to help clear for the collective kind of like cleared itself out. Um, it's like this, it's, I feel like people that maybe even knew you in the past might be like, whoa, where did this come from? Because like this person was so different. Pile number three was so different. Like were they always there and they could always see it, but it feels like you're coming online to a degree that might even surprise you that you might not have even imagined possible within this lifetime. And, and you'll be living those and you'll have moments when you're really in this new beginning, you'll have moments where you're like, whoa, like it's actually happening. Like this is dope. This is so cool. And you have the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. So yeah, this might come like after a period of, uh, like you might have, and it might be like you go through an intense spiritual activation. Um, I feel like it would be something that is, um, hold on really quick, you guys. I have to just check on my dogs really quick. Okay, sometimes they be sounding like that. up to no good. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this new, um, this new beginning, I feel like it's night and day, okay, with a spontaneous activation, this blue flame, integration time. I feel like this might even come after a moment where it's like there's a like point of no return, kind of like towery moment is what I'm getting to where this new beginning happens because like you're kind of like pushed up against a wall or um, like something sudden happens to instigate this. Let's get a little bit deeper into this um, new beginning, please. We'll get more information as this reading goes on about the spontaneous awakening. But I feel like it's just giving yourself time to really integrate into this energy, right? This, um, I feel like this is really saying you'll be feeling this. You'll be feeling like you're living the new beginning uh, for maybe a bit. And then the external starts to come in and you start to bring in that external abundance with all of this eight, right? Those external ramifications, Okay, I'm just going to push this up so you guys can see. We have the five of cups coming up. Ace of swords. King of wands. And seven of pentacles. Bottom of the deck, you have the king of cups. So this new beginning, I feel like you're taking the wisdom that you gained from past hardship, from past heartbreak, and you're infusing it into whatever this new direction is, this, this work that you're doing. I feel like this has something to do with um, a creative endeavor, like an entrepreneurial endeavor with a king of wands, uh, um, an inspired direction, okay? An inspiring direction. I feel like for some of you guys too, it's like you've been kind of maybe already in the process of building something and this new beginning is much more energetic. Like you might've already been starting on like 
been engaging in a path, right? Been on a path for some time of wanting to contribute in a certain way and wanting to share your gifts and and really living in alignment with your road less traveled, okay? But it's like you went through this energetic kind of revamp, this re-spark that is breathing new life into this old thing, okay? And that's allowing you to um, like bring a new sense of aliveness and a new sense of prosperity to it. So, you know, these things are are always so layered. Like we don't, we will never know from this level why some things seem to happen so quickly for other people and why it seems to take time for us. But I feel like a big part of it was you really needed to get in this energy of like no fucks. All right. And like, I wish someone would, you know, and really being like trusting yourself, trusting yourself above anything else and trusting your own experience of yourself and putting that above what anyone else has to say, their misperceptions, their misunderstandings, et cetera. Um, there was a sense of like wholeness that you needed to develop within yourself um, for this new, you know, this is kind of similar to pile two. So if you did feel inspired to check that one out, I would as well, because this is kind of, this is somewhat similar. And so maybe this was like, you know, there's a sense of wisdom that was needed to be extracted as pile two returned to something else. And so that's kind of what I'm seeing with this. There was like a pause, maybe you paused following your dreams or you paused following this one dream in particular because like you weren't seeing results or it's like because you really needed to come into a state of empowerment and un unshakability in, in who yourself there needed to be a much more like holistic embrace of all aspects of yourself because maybe in the past it was a little bit phony because you thought that you needed to be perfect or something and so that that understanding has shifted and you see how I feel like a big part of what is going to mark this new beginning, it's like the more real you're becoming with yourself and other people, the more transparent, the more you're speaking to the the heart of humanity, right? And, you know, people don't want to be around like people that are just like talking about high vibe all the time. I mean, maybe that's speaking for myself, but that like is so inauthentic to me. I want to be around people that are real and inspiring, you know, and that are positive people, of course, but that don't deny the shadow within themselves and, and the realness of, of this human experience and and all that it entails, right? People that are honest about their, their devils, right? That are honest about what it is they're still working with and that don't want to, that aren't trying to portray this image of perfection. Okay. And that's where you gain the, the most amount of power is like, um, like within yourself. And then that's where you gain the most amount of respect is when people can feel that, you're not trying to put on a show and that you're meeting them where you're at. You're being honest about where you're at. You're meeting them where you're at. And so they feel, people feel much more comfortable around that type of person. Okay. And so that rawness is going to protect you. It's like, I heard this quote yesterday, like once people lose respect for you, they can't gain it back. The only time people really lose respect for someone is when they were putting on a show, putting on a front of who they were. Right. And then it's like who they really are comes out. But if you're honest from the get up, people can't, don't have any choice but to have respect for you because you're honest, right? At the very least, you're fucking honest about where you're at. So there's no surprises. And so maybe there is like a renewed sense of passion and inspiration around this thing. But this new beginning is marked by, even if it's like a returning to something that you've done before or a returning to um, like past dreams that kind of you gave up on maybe, um, there's like a re-spark there is a reignition of, of passion and that new beginning is marked by you feeling so good in who you are in all aspects, not just some aspects. And people will flock to that man. The people will flock. Yeah, my will to thy will. You're just like surrendering. I'm giving this up. I'm responding only to those things that are holistically true, right? Uh, there's that other quote that's like, if it's not true, don't say it. If it's not right, don't do it. Not based off of like externally, externally given kind of like commandments, you know, but some based off your own morals and your own values. And as long as you're doing that, you're going to meet great success. Okay. Um, but there is this, I feel like will be marked too, as a sense of like an epiphany, maybe a new direction, a new dream. Um, you know, a new vision is sparked in some way, uh, and maybe even a different way to kind of continue what you're doing, utilizing the same gifts, but it might take form in a different way. Okay, but I, I do feel like you guys are very serious about your contribution to the planet and how you affect other people, how you leave other people. And there was just, you were just clearing out some karmic scales, okay? And sometimes for the our strongest light workers, you know, um, we're clearing a lot, not just, it's not personal karma. 
a lot of the times it's it's to come here and help re relieve the planet of its unprocessed trauma and its unprocessed darkness. And so sometimes it's 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 paused not because you're doing anything wrong or anything bad or like something's off with you, but it's because okay, we're going to clear this kind of we're going to um, it's like a multi-layered mission. And so you needed to clear this other stuff from your field that you agreed to take on for the planet. And so it's good. You've like, those scales have tipped. And so now we're going to go out and help other people do the same. Give other people, teach other people the tools because how do you change your system is from the inside out. You have to know it's inner workings. So you were learning the inner workings of what it means to be working, operating more from the limited self and what it means, like what true power is. It's giving it up, right? Give, like gracing it up, <laughs> giving it up to grace, leaving room for or, um, space for grace is another way of saying that. So this is very beautiful. I feel like, yeah, this is um, something that you, I feel like have probably been working on or dabbling in. And um, the new beginning, it's not necessarily like you're having a new like beginning in something completely new, but it's like a sense of you're having an, an epiphany or like a divine it's like a divine remembrance or um, divine inspiration or there's like divine comfort is a better way of saying this around why something maybe has taken you a bit longer than you had anticipated or wanted, but you'll, you'll have that spark of like, oh my God, I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad because now that I'm doing this for the right reasons and I'm not doing this to people, please, I'm not filtering myself anymore. It's the, the message is going to be so much more potent and so much more powerful and my heart's in the right space. Versus when I'm kind of so low key doing this for validation or just like still tiptoeing around my truth, etc. So there will be like, ah, oh, I'm so happy and like this revitalized sense. And like, I feel like it's going to come in a lot quicker, right? It's, it's been slow. I feel like for, for you guys, some of the, it's felt, maybe felt slow, a slow time coming. And then all of a sudden it's just like, you've been activated. And so now it's like, you know, that thing of people that think people will blow up overnight. It's like, no, they've been working at it for some time, right? And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, it's time. The stars have aligned and now you're ready. Okay, so pile number three, I'm going to leave this reading here for now. I hope this brought clarity, confirmation, peace to your heart today. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section. It really helps other people reach these very healing messages when they need them. And I do hope to see you on my channel again soon. Much love. Hey, group number four, welcome to your reading for a new beginning that is on the horizon for you. If you chose this Paulina tarot deck, this is your reading. I've already reshuffled the fool card back in here. We're saving this for clarification. I haven't looked at your other cards yet. We're going to do that real time together. So let's get right into it. A new beginning on your horizon. We have guardian angel. You are not alone. Shield maiden, make plans and focus. Partnerships and alliances. Disruption, a tower, tower moment. I feel like this beginning, this new beginning is happening after something is falling apart. You're seeing how supported you are by the universe. You're seeing how supported you are through other people as well. Um, and there's a sense of like buckling down and putting your nose to the grindstone and getting things moving, um, getting things working in your favor. It's going to work. Okay. And I feel like sometimes when we're not in this energy yet, like we can almost get overwhelmed, but trust that when this disruption, this tower moment kind of happens, or it's clear that a, a shift is happening and a new direction needs to be taken or something needs to be um, revamped, you're going to have the energy available to you when that happens, right? It's just follow, being in alignment with the natural unfolding of things. But there's a lot of support coming through. These two cards really say you're very supported, so it might be something that kind of makes you feel very, it like triggers a nervous system kind of thing with a new fight, flight, or freeze, okay? Um, but you're, you'll be given the energy, like, there'll be a lot of, we're gonna fucking make this happen, okay? Um, not in my book, right? Of like, bad things happening, or failing, or something. I don't think the people drawn to my channel are in that zone, or field at all. You know, energetic field is what I mean. So I feel like, this, this is a kind of like thriving and chaos kind of thing or utilizing this energy of like, you know, stagnation, feeling, feeling like things aren't moving in a direction you want them to go. And so that energy is going to be made available to you of like, I got to do, I got to get some, right? Something needs to happen. 
And so there's a sense of like very cardinal and like fixed energy that I'm getting from this. Even like mutable, right? Things changing and then a new start and then not going to back down, right? But I, And I feel like you'll be receiving support from other people, whether it's like verbal support, energetic, spiritual support, or like tangible support. People are helping you with this new endeavor, this new venture, this move, whatever it is, okay? New beginning, no place like home. Yeah, so it could have to do with your home, um, like moving, um, it could have to do with just like what makes you feel secure within yourself. All right. So like, again, I, I did hear house divided against yourself. So this could also do have to do with that, like feeling divided against yourself and maybe making decisions that aren't really fully in alignment with our highest truth. Okay. And so we can only live like that for so long, especially again, the people I work with it, you're not going to be able to like deny your truth very long especially with all this blue, there's so much here supporting, um, you know, that indigo warrior, that indigo type of energy, speaking your truth here to change the structures on the planet. So it supports more light versus more darkness, hoarding exploitation type of energy. Okay. And the, you do that by honoring within yourself, where are you exploiting your own self? Where are you exploiting your own truth? Like filtering your truth. So other people will, will accept you filtering your truth because you can't say how you really feel in your living environment and your relationships in your job, etc. Okay. Um, uniting yourself, becoming a force that you can rely on, right? Being someone that you trust the very most fork in the road. Okay. Yeah. So this new beginning is marked by an either or type of decision where it's like, I'm either going to give up more of myself, give up, um, my truth, give up what feels authentic and right for me, or I'm going to take this new path. And I'm going to, I understand that it might be a little bit it's disrupting something. It's disrupting like something that has been stable, something that serves as a foundation. It's disrupting your nervous system. It's making you feel a little bit maybe worried about how things are going to work out. But again, you had those two cards in the very beginning that says you are not alone. You are being protected. It's all going to work out. You have other people to support on. So it's important to call on that support if and when you need it. Making plans, right? How do we move forward um, with this decision, because for, for many of you guys, this is already confirming something that you already know. I just saw four for four on the clock too. So that's more of that angelic archangel type of support, right? So praying, um, asking your angels for support, asking your angels for guidance. Um, our guides are always going to help us, right? Oh yeah. Angels. That's guardian angel. And then you had the number literally of angels. So you guys are very protected, divinely protected. Okay. Um, but our guides can only help us to a certain extent. There is that law of free will that is very active on this planet. And so, um, they can't really step in past a certain degree unless we're actively asking them, Hey, you know, give me guidance. Give me a sign. Where do I go? What do I do? Make it very clear. Um, even if it's just like needing to like help calm yourself, you know, uh, I've done that before where it's like, I was just creating such like an, um, an ink. My field became so r riddled with anxiety based off of something I was fearing that was going to happen. And I was like, Hey, please just bring me some like confirmation. And it's like, I, came across the perfect meme. Like this meme just like fell into my lap. That was like exactly what I needed here. And I was like, okay, I asked and I got it. And so I'm not going to question anymore. This is like developing, tipping the scales in terms of your faith, excuse me. So going from that vivid, um, the vivid faith, that kind of shaky faith, I need proof kind of faith to like confident and irreversible faith where you know that the universe has your back always. The cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer understanding this is a moving prayer. Your life is a moving prayer. There's other people that you're going to be inspiring through this. Um, yeah, it's interesting that we were just talking about praying, right? And we have that coming up again. So your guides really do want you to be more open to them, uh, be more open to their guidance. There might even be like a doubt that they even exist for some of you guys. Um, and they are coming through and being like, you know, uh, it would never inhibit you from moving in a positive direction, but I feel like it, it is inhibiting your levels of peace. And it might even be one of the reasons why you've stayed in a situation longer than you maybe have wanted to. Um, because there's a lack of trust of like really feeling supported and, you know, I'm not judging at all. You know, there's obviously a reason why that is, and that's fine. Next we have earth school, life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Yeah. For some of you guys, um, it's really important to be reminded that this is a big soul lesson that you're in the, in the process of, um, like learning or this is like a better way of saying that. I mean, is this is part of your curriculum. Okay. It's like my guides show me, it's like, we have a flow chart, right? 
It's like a flow chart. If this, then this. If this, then this. If yes, then this. If no, then this. But it's all within the context and the framework of your soul's blueprint, okay? So it's like, we can never do anything wrong, but I feel like one of the reasons you're guided to this is because you could do something that feels more right. Um, that might be a little scary, but it's just because it's gonna really test your faith. Testing your faith in terms of you've questioned it and you've doubted it quite a bit. And so, of course, there's going to be discomfort whenever you're strengthening any muscle, right? You have to like break down the muscle. Literally, you have to push your muscle to failure in order to build new muscle. Same thing with faith. It's like you have to, it's like right before your foot is about to touch the ground to, or like to fall through. It feels like it's about to fall all the way through that this step appears sometimes. And I can attest to this. I would not say something to you guys that I have not experienced real time. And even it really even has to do with like home and living situations too. Okay, and getting to this feeling like I'm pushed up against a wall, feeling like, okay, I gotta fucking ride this wave of energy because I can't, this is not gonna work anymore. And so that activates a lot internally and it, um, you become a magnet to those external things, those external um, loopholes in the system, you know, where things that like, um, you know, like even, you know, there was a point where I, I needed to move out of living with my daughter's father and um, you know, I don't have credit cards, but I also don't have any debt because I don't have credit cards because I don't want debt. but then I don't have probably the best credit score. And so I like this perfect home actually ended up coming into my field of awareness. Um, and it was owned by friends and they opened up their mother-in-law apartment, which was like perfect. It was so beautiful. It was like five minutes from my work, five to 10 minutes. And it was just like, I couldn't have created anything better. And it was the day that I found that place or that I walked through that place was the day I was gonna sign a lease for a different home. That was like, okay, but it was better than where I was currently at. And so that, again, it was like one of those like close call manifestations where I needed to strengthen my faith muscle. And so it was just when I was about to put my foot down or like, you know, sign something in a better situation than where I was, but maybe not the best, the perfect place manifested and became known. So that's the kind of thing. The universal forces will respond to you, to your intent, but it's like you gotta be on board with the changes that are best for you. Okay, choosing the fork in the road, that might be a little bit, all right, it's disrupting the status quo of how my life has been up to this point in time. It's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable in terms of finding a new dynamic or a new situation or a new flow of things, but ultimately tune into the freedom. The fork that brings the most amount of freedom, okay? The fork that is the most exciting. Um, taking logic and reason out of it and knowing that it's gonna, you know, make itself known when it's meant to. But that's what it means to be living the cosmic heart, a moving prayer, the life of faith, faith walk, right? It's like you're just going where you're led and because it's divinely inspired, you can trust you're gonna be taken care of. But this is a big part of your soul growth, this new beginning that's on the horizon, this fork in the road. So you're gonna grow so much from this experience, okay? You're gonna take off in your experience of yourself and, um, and just your faith in general and your freedom, all right? It's like this person is flying through the cosmos. What else? Higher learning, yeah, higher awareness. Expanding your awareness. Queen of Wands. Yeah, tracking the perfect thing to you. Another death cycle. So yeah, or a death, I mean, or another reference to death. So there's most certainly this fork in the road is like closing an old chapter, the opportunity to close an old chapter, um, a rebirth. And remember, death is kind of uncomfortable. It's like a pregnancy. It's like, you know, giving birth. It's really uncomfortable and it hurts like hell. And there's a lot of strain and pressure, but then, you know, it's all worth it. You're flooded with those endorphins after delivering your baby. You're flooded with those endorphins and it was all worth it. And you see how strong you are. Same thing when you're working out, you know, it's like it hurts like hell, but there's that endorphin high that kind of like overrides the pain and you know, you're doing something for the right reasons. You're knowing, you know, you're doing something that is really good for you at the end of the day. Okay. And you're becoming much more magnetic, more attractive in general, because like you're seeing this within yourself too. You're seeing that if once I make my, once I really pile four, once pile four really comes to this point of like, I'm not turning back. This is what I'm, this is what's happening and I'm not going to settle. You are going to see how much of a cosmic force that you are. And you are going to be like, wow, I'm really truly never in this alone. There is something to this, even though my mind and none of our minds could ever fully describe or um, talk about how that it happens. There is like, 
an undeniable sense that, okay, good things do happen when I trust, right? Good things do happen when I follow that internal inspiration, that internal guidance. But I feel like your guides have been like ushering you to make this decision, whatever this is, for a while, okay? And um, I feel like this is going to be one of those things where it's like the, the longer you put it off, you're only like the bigger the tower is going to be. You know, and I don't mean to laugh or giggle, but my guides have said that to me too at one point when I was like first getting ready to leave my last like real job, okay? Um, and it was still like so fun and I got to make my own schedule, but it was just time. And my guide say, said like, if you don't do this now, there will be a point in the road where you have no choice. And sure enough, a few months later, I reached that point where there was like a point of no return. The tower, like I could have left a lot gracefully <laughs> if I had just like followed my guides, but it's like, whatever, I, I was learning, right? We're always learning, always expanding. You can't get it wrong. You can't ever get it wrong. Temperance. So yeah, a lot of healing, he restoration of your belief in how things work, but this is a restoration of yourself. Alchemization with the fire and the water element um, merging back within one another. But the alchemization along with life lessons and soul growth, like this is something that is really going to restore your trust in yourself and, and seeing that you can do things on your own and just, and, and seeing that, like, I feel like there might, again, the biggest part, the biggest theme that I'm feeling from this is feeling like you can't do something that you can't make th things happen. Good things happen on your own, that you'll always be needing to rely on other people. Um, and while other people can help you while this is not negating that and saying that's a negative thing, I feel like this is a big, a big part of this is in, um, like when I say relying on other people in this reading in particular of the people that can help you, it's not a codependency kind of thing. Whereas maybe in the past, it's like, it was maybe a little codependent of like, um, feeling like you can't make good things happen on your own, or you can't do this adulting thing on your own or whatever, you know? Um, but it's healing your own trust in yourself. And we have the King of Wands. This is interesting. Holy, holy moly! The King of Wands come up, came up in three out of four of these piles today. But yeah, I feel like this is too. Um, if this does have to do with relationships, I mean, you're meeting more people on your level. Okay. If this does have to do with like splitting apart a physical home, you're meeting a, a you know, it's making way for something that is even more relevant for where you're at. You know, a more accurate reflection of who you've become. And if this doesn't have to do with that kind of thing, you know, splitting up a home or whatever, whatever this fork in the road is saying, it's like you're attracting more things that are on your level. You're attracting more environments, more situations, more um, moments of having fun, more activities, more resources, just more things that are a much more relevant representation of who you've become. But it's very exciting. This, this, Your guides are really reiterating the importance of going towards those things. Like the wands is like, exuberance the wands is inspiration the wands is excitement the wands is passion okay and so you're following those things that bring you more and more in in the direction of passion in the direction of excitement and not settling you know i feel like depending on you know everyone's at different parts of their journey but the longer we go settling the more that we make that normal you know, and that, you know, we've kind of convinced ourselves we've attached to that narrative that settling means security. And so now you're at a fork in the road where you're like, no, actually following my greatest excitement, following my greatest bliss, my greatest freedom, that's actually the most uh, secure, right? Because in terms of my soul growth, my soul lessons, I'm not going to have to do this again. I'm not going to have to take this course over again. You know, I'm, yeah, you're con consistently expanding and with this energy coming through too, it's just really reiterating that it's actually much more risky. The biggest risk that we can take is, is to not bet on ourselves, to not take the leap, to not see, you know, fuck around and find out, you know, it's, it's not necessarily the, the biggest regrets aren't the things that we did do. It's generally what we didn't, you know, and so you have a lot of support and, and encouragement in taking this, um, this new path that really supports and honors your truest happiness, your truest desires, um, and to, to understand, to ask your guides for help and understand that this is, you are very cosmically and divinely and angelically supported, okay? 
I hope this brought clarity, confirmation, and peace to your heart today, pal number four. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section. It really helps these healing messages reach more people. And I do hope to see you on my channel again soon. Much love.